Hello you guys and welcome to another Makeup Diaries episode. I think we're on episode 5 of this Makeup Diaries series, which I have had so, so much fun filming. Like I actually just get excited every day to kind of like record and keep track of the makeup books that I've created. So thank you for all of your positive feedback on this series. If you don't know, I was inspired to do this because I saw Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner doing this series for quite some time and I've always enjoyed watching her videos. So she will always be linked in my description box for this video series as well as her channel. Definitely go check her out. She definitely does so many fun, creative, and just like inspired looks. So if you have not yet checked out her channel, I highly recommend doing so. But I am essentially just going to be sharing with you the seven makeup looks that I have done the last seven days that I have done makeup. And I would love to know in the comments as you're watching what looks are your favorite. And if there's any makeup products or palettes that you would like to see me use in my next makeup diaries, let me know. I would love to hear your suggestions and feedback for makeup products that you would like to see me put on my face. But if you're interested in seeing the seven most recent makeup looks I've created. Stay tuned for us if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project painting content, palette themed content, or just chit chatting about makeup. I'd love that you'd consider subscribing before moving on. And other than that, let's jump into the video. I need to self tan today. Wow. Okay, we can hide as much as we can. Maybe I should be wearing long sleeves. Wow, I'm so pale. Anyway, you guys, welcome to another Makeup Diaries. This should be day one in this makeup diary. Um, wow, it almost sounded like I was going to say diarrhea. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, why is that relevant? It's not. Today is Saturday. It is Mother's Day weekend. It is very early in the morning. I got up at like five so that I could film. Um, but my daughter and I are going to be headed down to my mom so that we can celebrate my birthday. I haven't had a chance to celebrate my birthday with my mom and sister yet. And then we'll also be celebrating Mother's Day. And this is the look that I will be wearing for today. It is definitely not what I had originally planned to do today. Where is my... So today I had both my Flower Moon, Ensley Rain Flower Moon, and Groovy Garden sitting out. And I knew that I wanted to just do like something like smoky for like the matte shadows. And then I wanted to just go in with like one shadow as like my special shade. So originally I was going to go in with Moon Child from the Ensley Rain palette, which is this really beautiful... <clears throat> like teal green blue and I'm like kicking myself still for changing my mind and not going with this I'm like wish I went with this but you know what I guess lavender is a color that I love so this works anyway so I ended up using a couple of shadows out of the flower moon palette I actually used the shade flower moon all over the lid and then I wasn't like absolutely in love with how that was it just wasn't exactly what I envisioned there's flower moon when I swatched flower moon it looked much more like this light pink to green but then on the eyes it was pulling much more of like a pinky lavender and i was like okay i feel like i really need to commit to this now so then i went over with the shade dahlia just to make it like a little bit more purple and i really focused dahlia on like the outer two thirds of my eye and then flower moon's kind of on the inner third and this is how the look turned out i did use where did i put it for my mattes i actually went in with the tartlet in bloom palette and if I could open this, I went in with the shade Smoke Show on the outer third, and then I used Jet Setter to blend that out. And that's really, it's really just those shadows to create this look. Again, not really what I had envisioned, but it'll do, it'll do. So this is what is on the eyes. I do have, I did add a wing with my Hindash liquid liner, and then I went in with my Nabla Cupid's Arrow in the shade two for my waterline. My mascara, I don't know where my rare, rare Beauty mascara was this morning. I was like searching all over for it and I couldn't find it. So I went in with a mixture of Tarte Lights Camera Splashes with um, the 5D Lash Pow from Makeup Revolution. My brows are my Danessa Myricks Groundworks. And then for my base today, it's not sitting in front of me, but I had my last use left of my Milani Chill Out Primer. So I have officially emptied that primer out. This is currently what is on, or that is what I used as a primer today. I'm like, where am I going with this? For concealer, I did a mixture of the Natasha Denona with my Tower 28. I definitely went in too heavy with my concealer. Like we added a little bit too much. I was blending it out and I was like, oh, I went in too heavy with this. Um, I had too much product, but that is my concealer. 
my foundation is the very valentino foundation you guys know i've really really been loving the very valentino foundation and it has spf 26 it is supposed to be quite warm here in minnesota today so i do plan to be outside I don't know if SPF 26 is gonna cut it. <laughs> we'll see what happens. We'll see if I'm burnt tomorrow. I did set underneath my eyes using my Givenchy Prism Libre Powder, and then I went in with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation just to lightly set the rest of my face. At the end, after I went in with blush, bronzer, highlight, etc., I did also use my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette as a finishing powder, and I did a mixture of these two shades today, and I believe these two are Incandescent Light and Radiant Light. I did underpaint just a little bit today. Um, I underpainted with my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, the Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer. I've really, really been enjoying this bronzer and pulling that back out to use it. But then I did go in with the Benefit Hula Bronzer all over my face to kind of set that and just add a little bit more of a bronzy glow. Then actually over top of my powder, I wasn't sure how this was gonna turn out. And it was a little bit bright pink. I had to like go back over with the beauty sponge that i blended my foundation out with today to just tame it down a little bit and actually i grabbed the wrong product um but i did go in with the persona blush stick in the shade bubble which is this really beautiful cool pink toned blush because i thought it would like match nicely with my eyes so i went in with that over top of my powders and then i set that blush using this shade out of the hourglass ambient lighting ghost quad this is in the shade surreal effect and that is what is my blush today for my highlight. I went in my with my Vesca Beauty highlighter. I really, really love this highlight. And I feel like my pan is slowly expanding on this one too, which makes me really happy. I do feel like it's a little, like the blush is heavy, but that's okay. That's okay. It'll fade throughout the day. And I do really like like the pink. I feel like ties in well with the eyes. And I believe that is everything that is on my face today. I haven't yet picked my fragrance of the day yet. What am I thinking for Mother's Day? I think I know what I'm, I'll be right back you guys. Let me go grab my frag. Okay, I'm back and as I was walking over to my fragrance tray, I had plenty of time to be embarrassed for myself for referring to my fragrance as my frag. And also just realized I forgot to mention what was on my lips. So I did line my lips today using the ColourPop Barbie Golden Beach Lip Liner. I then went in with Vegas on the lips and obviously my lips are kind of like worn off at this point. But this is, and if I said ColourPop, I meant Cosas Vegas for my lipstick but it's the old version so it's very old and then i went in with my glam light daphne lip gloss because i thought the pink sparkle would really bring everything together so that is the lip combo today okay for the fragrance this is like the most extra fragrance combination ever but i loved this one last summer and i haven't done this mixture since last summer so i think this is what we're going to do today because this is just going to make me smile so I have the Clean Reserve Skin Scent, which I'm gonna mix with Juliet Has a Gun Sunny Side Up, which I'm also gonna mix with last year's Dolce & Gabbana like summer limited edition release. And it is the light blue summer vibes. So usually I go in with like one, two, three, we'll do four. Four of the summer vibes. This is pretty masculine, but I really, really love the scent of this. I love a masculine scent. Okay, then I go in with like, I just can't help myself with this, <laughs> like six or seven squirts of this because I love it so much. And then I usually just do like two mists of the, oops, sunny side up. Oh, it is just bringing back all of the mems of last summer. Um, yay, okay. Just trying to like smell in the circle. What does Lauren always refer to it at? The, oh my gosh, the cloud? The cloud? The fragrance circle cloud? Probably not getting that right. Anyway, that is the fragrance of the day. That is my makeup of the day. I am going to film, I am so late to filming my makeup rehab update. So I'm gonna film that now and then I will be off to go celebrate Mother's Day weekend. I know this video will probably be going up probably at least a week, if not two weeks after um, filming this. But if you were a mother, I hope you had a great Mother's Day. Um, but I will catch you guys tomorrow in day two. Good morning, you guys. Welcome to, I believe, Makeup Diaries day two. I'm like, I feel like I remember filming a Makeup Diaries day one. Um, today is Monday and I am just going to work, but I really, really love the way that my makeup turned out today. By the way, my air is on. 
my wash like i have laundry going maybe i should turn my air off because that's loud i did turn my air off so it wasn't as loud but if you hear my washer i apologize as i said i am just going to work today i do really like the way that my makeup turned out today i was just experimenting and i feel like thankfully it went in my favor although are we feeling like <laughs> the blue's a little bit intense for the office it'll be fine it'll be fine and i'm not 100 percent sure how i feel about my base today but that's okay anyway uh, we can start with the base. I forgot to lay a primer down today, so my bad. I did put down the Belief like True Cream Moisturizing Balm for my moisturizer, but I did not lay a primer down, which is so incredibly rare for me, but we're just gonna hope that things adhere for a full work day. For my concealer today, I went in with just the slightest little bit of the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer, um, mostly on the outer corner. I like I have and I don't know if it's because I have like dry skin right here or if it's like due to my hooded eye but I always have this like shadow right here and it annoys me so I'm trying to work on getting rid of that shadow so I mostly put this just on the outer like part of my eye and then I went in with the NYX Born to Glow for like the majority of my concealer. My foundation today is the Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop Stick Foundation. I just wanted something like really quick and easy and not super heavy. This is so easy to blend and I'm getting so close to being done with this. Like this is it all the way rolled up. I do see like quite a bit of product still like and I will actually try and like scrape this out because I feel like I could scrape the foundation out and make it work, but you know, I am hopeful that this could be an empty before the end of the year, so that's exciting. Another foundation empty on the horizon. I do have the Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom Cake Powder underneath the eyes. Again, I just feel like this is heavier than what I like, um, but I'm trying to just get some use out of this because I feel like I'm getting lower on my Givenchy, so I've been trying to save my Givenchy for more like weekend activities and <laughs> the people that I work with get to see a little bit drier me. Um, the, then I set all over my face using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder Foundation. Um, I have the shade 170. Look at how much this pan is expanding. That is so exciting to me. I did feel like my skin was looking a little bit matte, so then I did go in with my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Trio and just kind of mixed all three shades together to add a little bit of life or a little bit of a glow back to the cheeks. I did use both cream as well as powder, bronzer, and blush today. So my cream bronzer is the Chanel Le Beige bronzer, which I, which is currently going in a project, and I really, really do enjoy this bronzer. It is so beautiful. This and the Charlotte Tilbury like creamed powder bronzer I've really been enjoying lately. And then I set that using my Gucci powder or Gucci bronzer in the shade one. My blush, I went in with the Kaja Dewy Bar in the shade Fig Smoothie. I hadn't used this shade yet. And I will say I I want to use this when I'm not setting my face with a powder. Like if I'm just going out to run errands and I'm mostly just doing cream products. Because this shade on its own was so beautiful. These two together before I went in with the powder was so pretty. I just didn't think it was going to last my whole work day. Which is why I set it. But especially even like winter time for a more berry toned or mauve toned shade that is so so pretty i have really been enjoying the kaja dewy bars i think the formula is really beautiful and then my highlight today is an og this is the laura mercier baked gelato highlighter in the shade charming pink um that is the highlight today all right then for my eyes kaja recently sent over a very very generous package that included nine of their beauty bento um like eyeshadow trios which i absolutely love so i used the shade neutral moment which is three just like matte neutral shades and i mixed that with their new one of their new ones cold brew and i really just reached into this shade right here in cold brew which is this really really beautiful it's one of those like chunky sticky metallics which i don't feel like is going to be for everyone but i personally love look how beautiful and, and intense that is i put that on the inner third of my eye um actually sorry i take that back i also used a little bit of this on like the inner half of my eye as well and then um that was looking really beautiful i should have taken a picture of that but i wanted to i have so many eyeshadow palettes that i have not yet completed testing on so i wanted to reach into something out of my dive Rune cosmetics moth and moon palette and so i went in with this shade right here and just kind of tapped that all over the lids to add like that green tealy shift and i really really enjoy the way that that turned out and then i used a shade out of my clarity so amazing eyeshadow palette on the inner corner i used the shade don't be shellfish which i am currently trying to pan in one of my projects i really really love this shade for like a yellow inner corner and it has like a bit of a tealy blue greenish shift to it as well so i thought it would kind of 
tie the look together quite nicely but I'm excited to continue to play around with this and use this all over the lid as well as in other ways but that is what is on the eyes I do have the Ilia eyeliner in the shade dark on my waterline my mascara combination I have no idea where i'm like is it just like hiding in one of my drawers i don't know where my rare beauty mascara went which is such a bummer because that is like my new favorite mascara so my mascara combination today is the tarte lights camera splashes and then i have the 5d lash pal from makeup revolution this is definitely drying out like when i take this out i'm like this is not gonna last too much longer and then my brows are my denessa myricks groundworks palette the lip combination is probably my current favorite lip combination since the Sephora VIB sale. I love doing this combo. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Iconic Nude. And then I just topped that with the Ula Henriksen Pout Preserved Peptide Lip Treatment. Can they please come back with Blood Orange Spritz in a variety of other colors? Because I absolutely love this formula. I really do love the shade Coco Creme. I will 100% repurchase this when I finish this because I do love like a brown nude lip. But that's everything on my face today. I am just off to work. It's a Monday. I hope it goes well. We'll see. Um, but that is it. I will catch you guys tomorrow for day three in this makeup diary. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to, I think, day three. I can never quite remember when I don't film every day in a row. Like, did I end up filming yesterday or the day before? I can't really remember. But I believe we're on day three in this makeup diaries. And today I have a regional work meeting that I'll be going to. So this is my makeup for my regional work meeting. And I really enjoy the way that this turned out. I just realized that I meant to I meant to use these two shades in my Dominique Cosmetics palette. So I could just get this over with. Like have this be no pan left behind it. Do I just want to mix these two together for underneath the eyes? Or is that going to be like not a good situation i'm honestly not sure i might end up regretting this but it works it works it works and now this is officially no pain left behind it okay this is what i'm wearing to my work meeting today i will obviously be changing my shirt but let's get into what is on z face so for my eyes i went in with my domini cosmetics latte palette as i said i'm trying to no pain left behind this I used the shade Mocha on the outer third of my eye, and then I used a mixture of caramel and vanilla cream to blend that out. On the outer third of my lid, I went in with the shade Espresso, and then on the inner half of my lid, I went in, so I mixed a little bit of these two shades out of my Rowan 75 Degrees Quad all over my lid. I went in with a bit of the shade Macchiato on the like inner third of my eye, and then I wanted like a little bit more of a pop. So I ended up going in with my single right here, which is in the shade Halo. And this is from Gimme Glow Cosmetics on the inner third of my eye, kind of over that macchiato shade. And then for the inner corner of my eye, out of my Clarity Cosmetics So More Amazing palette, I have the shade Don't Be Shellfish. I absolutely love that shade both on the inner corner and i need to use it all over the lid it's been a little bit since i've used it all over the lid i'm just realizing we could have like we're looking a little unblended up here but oh well oh well um and then i just like i said added on the bottom lash line a mixture of the shade cold brew and double shot i think i might end up decluttering this palette you guys like as i was using it the blend, like I was a little bit disappointed. I felt like this was getting a little bit muddy as I blended it with these two. I mean, it really did come together. I just, I needed to layer it differently. But I feel like my time with this palette has come to an end. And I just feel like there's so many other things in my collection that I'm more excited to reach for. Even though this is a solid palette, these are solid shades. I just feel like the shades in here that I like using the most, I have scattered throughout other palettes that I, I prefer reaching for over this. So you'll find out in an upcoming palette declutter likely at the end of june whether or not that truly does stay i'm just realizing i want to add a little bit more gloss to the lips so those are the eyes my brows are my Danessa Myricks groundwork palette and then i did go in with the tarte lights camera splashes on my lower lower and upper lash line and then i layered it with the rare beauty mascara i really 
really love the Burr Beauty Mascara. For my base, I went in for my primer today with the Tula Face Filter Blurring Primer in the shade Sunrise. I really, really love this primer. It does a really nice job of actually adding like a blurring pigment to the skin. Like it definitely has a pigment to it. Um, which really helps when I am more self tan and it does have a nice tack to it as well So this is my primer my foundation is a combination of the Dior forever skin glow Which is a little bit too deep for me right now. I definitely need a little bit more of a self tan So I mixed it with my L'Oreal true match super blendable foundation in the shade w2 and I love the way that these two blended together I really do enjoy both of these foundations So I'm not surprised that you know I like the the way that it turned out but I feel like it really did give me a nice smooth face to work with um and i i like the way that that turned out i did forget to mention i did use i did use my nyx born to glow radiant concealer for my concealer and i forgot to mention i did underpaint before going in with my foundation with a bronzer and a highlight today so from ritual de fee i went in with their solar flare rare light highlighter um which is a cream highlight on my cheekbones and then i also use the charlotte tilbury beautiful skin sun kiss glow glow bronzer as a cream bronzer cream bronzer underneath my foundation i use my rare beauty cherry pound cake cherry blossom cake um to set underneath my eyes i use my fenty beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation in the shade 170 to set my face. And then for my powder bronzer, I went in with the Nabla Skin Bronzing Bronzer in the shade Amber. You guys, I swear I'm so, so close to finally hitting a pan on this. But alas, still no pan today to, to, to the naked eye. For my blush today, I recently recluttered this from decluttered makeup that was sitting in a bin at my mom's house. It is from ColourPop. It is in the shade Fashion District. And this is what it looks like. Just a really beautiful, almost kind of looks like a bronzer, but like a terracotta nude bronze. And I really love the way that that looks on the cheeks. Just because I feel like it offers a really seamless transition from like the bronzer to the blush. And then for my highlight, my powder highlight is my NARS Fort de France highlight, which I was thinking about potentially decluttering. And I'm so glad that I haven't because I've really been enjoying this highlighter. It's definitely more intense than I've been opting for, but I've been loving a more intense highlight the last like six weeks or so so maybe we're gonna get back on the like highlight highlighty train who's to say really um and then i went in with my revolution sport fix lasting hold fixing spray which i dish which i just did my birthday haul and i hauled the elf power grip dewy setting spray should i go in with a little bit of this just to kind of see maybe i'll regret this but Let's see what the, what's the mist are like? Oh, it's a really fine mist. Okay. Mmm. Oh, that feels so, so nice on the skin. I hope this ends up working for me. I don't really care for the Revolution Sport Fix Lasting Hold Spray because the sprayer on it just is like, you get like, okay, that's not a good example. Sometimes it, it's like a faulty, maybe it's just my personal component but these two are i think the same price or maybe this is eight and this is ten so i hope this works for me i hope it actually makes my makeup last longer and i hope it really does leave a dew to the face but not maybe like pixie glow level dew i don't know if it's adding a lot for the dewiness but i do really love the way that my skin looks today anyway that is everything on my face today for me to head off to my work meeting this is it for Makeup Diaries day three. I will catch you guys tomorrow for day four. Hello you guys, welcome to day four in Makeup Diaries. Today is Friday and I am just headed to work. I am gonna try and film one video for my book channel before heading to work, but I'm wearing this makeup to work today and I actually really like the way that it turned out. I've been really, really loving um, introducing the Don't Be Shellfish shade out of the Summer Amazing palette back into my like rotation just because i love and actually i want to add a little bit more to the lower lash line on this eye but i love a yellow on the inner corner and this has like a bit of a, like a yellow green tealy sort of shift to it it is so punchy on the eyes and i just absolutely love it so we can get into what is on my face today starting with the eyes i have this morning i was kind of sitting here and i was like okay what palettes do I need to snow pan left behind? And rather than going with a palette that is currently in my rotation, I was like, you know what palette I feel like reaching for? 
my NARS Summer Solstice palette. And I figured I can try and no pan left behind this eyeshadow palette. This is one of my favorite palettes in my collection. Um, this is like the palette that made me fall in love with NARS shadow. And even like creating this look today, I was like, I forgot just how much I love this eyeshadow palette. And I know I'll reach for this one a ton in the summer. So I used quite a few of the shades out of this palette today. I used both of the matte shades to kind of build up the crease. Then I went in with this shade right here on the outer third of my lid, this shade right here kind of in the middle of my lid, this shade right here on the inner third of my lid, and then I tapped this kind of all over everything just to kind of bring everything together. And then obviously I went in with the shade Don't Be, Self Don't Be Shellfish as um, my inner corner highlight, which I really just feel like adds such a pop to the lids i used urban decay space dust on my lower lash line and then i kind of just smudged out this shade right here i kind of just smudged out this on the outer third of the lash line and then used this matte shade to kind of blend everything together my mascara is my rare beauty mascara and i like tried to heavily curl my lashes today lately i've been feel like feeling like they're really just sticking straight out again. My brows are my Janessa Myrick's groundwork. And then for my primer today, I went in again with my Tula filter primer in the shade Sunrise. Again, trying to use this up for a project and I already have a backup in my collection. This is a primer I love to reach for in the spring summertime. So excited to be getting use out of that. My foundation combination today, I didn't want to do the exact same as yesterday. So I still went in with my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation in W2, but to deepen it up a little bit, I went in with the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation, which I'm like, is this going in a project? Because there's a line marking on it. Even if it's not going in a project, I am just trying to finish this up relatively quickly because it is just a little baby size, but it still counts as a product in my makeup inventory. So I would love to move this out of my collection before the end of June when I do my mid-year update. And I actually really like the way that the base turned out. My concealer today is again the NYX Born to Glow Concealer. I've been trying to get a lot of use out of this. It is my oldest concealer, I believe, in my collection, one of my oldest concealers. And I've been cycling through a lot of my newer concealers lately, so I was like, I need to, I need to show this one some love. I'm behind on filming my Shop My Stash update, but I do plan to film that over the weekend. So I wanted to get use out of one of my face palettes that is currently in rotation so that potentially I can roll this out. And I think I likely will end up rolling this out, but then roll it in again when I do like my mid-June Shop My Stash and use this as much this summer as possible because I did go in with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting um, snake palette and this was the darkest of all the all the ones offered and it's definitely something that will only work for me when I do have a self tan even today I feel like the bronzer might be a little bit too deep but I went in with the bronzer out of this palette and then I used this as my blush and this shade right here as my highlight I'm actually surprised I feel like yeah the highlights probably still a little too dark for me i was like it's not as bad as i was expecting and i do really like the way that the powders kind of all came together it just might it might it might be a little bit intense for at work today it might be a little bit deep but we're rolling with it we are rolling with it i do really really love this palette um i purchased it obviously when this released last year and didn't get a ton of use out of it last year because i think i purchased it right around sephora vib time so more towards like fall winter when I wouldn't have been a self tan. So I'm very excited to reach for this one this summer. I forgot to mention that my my powder combination is what it typically is. So I went in with the Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom Cake to set underneath my eyes. And then I used the uh, Fenty Beauty Pro Filter. I feel like this pan expanded so much in the last few days. So I'm really excited. Hoping to finish this powder before the end of the year. That's why you're seeing it literally every day. <laughs> but I should cycle through some of my other pressed powders. And then finally, my lip combination today, I went in with the MAC Lip Liner in the shade Whirl. I used my YSL Lip Stain in the shade 23, and then I went over that with my Glam Light Scooby-Doo Lip Gloss in the shade Daphne. I absolutely love this lip gloss. I'm gonna put a little bit more of this on. I wonder if this, I feel like if this is still available, I should pick up a backup even though I shouldn't because I have so many glosses in my collection, but I just love this. It's like a pink and gold sparkly gloss, and I just think it's so beautiful. It adds such a like juicy shine to the lips. It's not plumping or anything like that, so it doesn't have like that tingly sensation. I just feel like it looks so shiny on the lips, and I love it. But that is everything on my face today. What do I want to do for fragrance today? 
Do I just want to go? I might just go Coco Shimmy again from Sniff. Yes, I do really like this. It has a very, very coconutty sort of scent. It does remind me quite a bit of the vacation scent from Vacation. Uh, but I'm, now that I'm smelling this like today, I almost feel like this has a bit of, it's like coconut almost with like a little bit of like, I don't think there's chocolate, like a chocolate note in there, but I'm getting a little bit of chocolate. I prefer Vacation because it has a bit of a banana scent to it and i love like a coconut banana like just true straight up summer sunscreen sort of scent but i i've already made like a decent dent in coco shimmy i i mentioned this in my birthday haul i don't think i'll end up purchasing this in a full size so i kind of want to get through this one this summer again as i keep saying i just prefer the vacation scent but that is it for day four you guys i do have some fun plans over the weekend which i'm really excited about so i'll take you along for the ride and we'll get right along to day five in makeup diary hello you guys welcome back to day five in this makeup diaries video we have got all of the green happening today today is saturday and i am planning to meet my sister for brunch it's supposed to be absolutely beautiful outside so i think we're gonna sit on the patio potentially eat i'm feeling like eggs in an omelet but also like a spicy margarita at like 11 a.m maybe i mean why not i have no other responsibilities this weekend so that is the thought my sister literally texted me and was like are you gonna be in like full youtube glam because if so then i guess i'll put mascara on today <laughs> so this is the look that we have going on today let's get into it i am finally done Finally have created all my looks with the NC Rain Groovy Gardens palette. Hopefully just in time for the Cosmic Dreamer palette, although I still am trying to work my way through the NC Rain Flower Moon palette. This is so beautiful, and I'm so excited to pull this back out for, like, in the fall, just because it, it, it it's really giving those, like, earthy fall vibes to me. I absolutely love Ensley Rain's special shades, whether they're their holographic, duochrome, multichrome, whatever they are. I feel like they add something just so special and so punchy to the eyes. But I also feel like they have a really good matte formula that blends really easily and I've had a lot of luck with as well. So on my eyes today, I used this dark green shade piece on the outer corner to kind of deepen everything up and kind of smoke it out. Then I went in with this to blend everything into the crease and then this to kind of bring everything hopefully up and together. On my lids, I went in with a little bit, just the tiniest amount of Vintage Vibe on the outer third of my lid, and then I went in with this shade right here, which is Moonchild, and I did that on like the inner two-thirds of my eye. I also did take, again, the shade Don't Be Shellfish um, on the inner corner from the Clarity Soma Amazing Palette. I really, really do love the way that that Moonchild shadow looks. Like, I'm so excited to even pair that with like, a neutral eyeshadow palette but this is everything that's on my eyeballs in terms of eyeshadow i did go in with the shade mildew from the urban decay 24 7 glide on pencils that's what's on my inner corner and, or sorry that's what's on my waterline and then i forgot i also did take the shade dig it on my lower lash line and then i also used um grass to blend that out as well my brows are my Danessa Myricks groundwork eyeshadow palette and then my mascara today is a combination of the Tarte lights camera splashes and the rare beauty I also curled using my ooh, heated lash curler I've never burnt myself with my heated lash curler but today it got very very spicy on the lids uh, but I, I love my heated lash curler all right my concealer today is the nyx born to glow concealer yet again and i really liked the way that my makeup looked yesterday so i tried to kind of emulate the same thing so you're gonna see some repeated product products here but my foundation is a mixture of the l'oreal true match in w2 as well as the makeup forever hd skin and this is in the shade 2n26 i am working my way through this i have about half of this left and i'd really like to finish this up i will say i do need to self tan today also it's supposed to be sunny out so hopefully i'll catch some natural rays um but i understand that my face doesn't necessarily match the bod i did contour my nose today using my charlotte tilbury contour wand because i'm trying to use this up i feel like this is definitely like gone bad like it does not smell good when i'm using it but i haven't broken out while using it so i'm trying to still get use out of it 
I used my Huda Beauty uh, Cherry Blossom Cake to set underneath my eyes and then my Fenty Beauty to set all over my face. That's pretty standard. I did go in with the e.l.f. Power Grip Dewy Setting Spray kind of in the middle of my makeup application today as well as to set at the end. And in fact, I might use just a touch more. I really like the mister on this. Like it's a really nice micro mist, but it's still easy to use. You know, sometimes you have those micro mists and it's almost like hard to even use the sprayer. That's not the case with this. My bronzer today, I went back into my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Snake Palette and I used this bronzer. I really like the way that this bronzer looked yesterday. And I remember yesterday thinking like, I feel like my bronze is like too dark, too bronzy. And maybe I'll think that when I added this, but I really liked it in person. My blush today, I have not pulled this one out in a while, but this is the Ofra Samantha March collaboration and this this is the blush duo in the shade chiclet and i just kind of mix these two together for my blush application my highlighter today is the nars fort de france highlighter i am planning to film my shot my stash today and i'll likely put this back just because i got a lot of use out of it but i'm really i've really been enjoying it and I'm so glad because this was something that I was thinking about potentially putting on the chopping block. But I wanted to get one last use out of it today before putting it back. And my lips, I feel like, has worn off a little bit. I'm going to reapply. So I did use my ColourPop Barbie Golden Beach Lip Liner. And then I went over top of that with this new matte lipstick from What's Up Beauty. It's in the shade Sebia. Seba? Seba. Seba? S-E-B-A. Um, you guys, the attention to detail, I don't know how well you'll be able to see. The absolute attention to detail, What's Up Beauty is a very underrated brand in my opinion. I have only had one product from them I didn't totally love, and that was their mascara. Now, this is my first time trying one of the lipsticks. There are three in the range, but it's really comfortable on the lips. It kind of reminds me of the Tarte like Rainforest of the Sea lipsticks. It's considered a matte, but it's creamy and it's not like draggy on the lips. Like it's very easy to apply it. And I feel like I would consider this more of like a satin matte. Anyway, I'm gonna go over top of this with my iconic London lip gloss, the lip plumping lip gloss in the shade Love Struck. Yeah, Love Struck. I had this on earlier too. Uh, this is currently going in a project, so I'm just trying to get use out of this gloss. And I always love to add a little bit of gloss to the lips but that is everything that's on my lips today and that is everything that is on my face i believe um that is it for this makeup diaries day six i'm five day five i'm very excited tomorrow i'm getting it together with some of my friends i have had like the same friends since like fourth and sixth grade and we're all getting together tomorrow to celebrate the last like three months of birthdays between the three of us and we're going to top golf which I love top golf. So I'm excited to share my makeup with you guys tomorrow, but this is it for brunch with my sis. I will catch you guys tomorrow for day six in makeup diaries. Hello and happy day six in makeup diaries. I need to be really quick because I need to be leaving <laughs> like now, but I'm off to top golf with my friends to celebrate like the spring birthdays within our friend group. And this is what I'm wearing. We're gonna have to figure out something to do with the hair so that it isn't like flying in my face as I'm swinging the golf clubs. But let is, let's get into what is on my face. So for my primer today, I have the One Size Secure the Glow Tacky Hydrating Primer. This is something I picked up during the Sephora VIB sale. And it's definitely warmer out today here in Minnesota. And so I wanted to make sure that my face wasn't melting off. Then I have the Dior Forever Skin Glow as my foundation. Um, mixed with, I forgot I was gonna put this on my body. I did one pump of my Nabla Angel Radiant Plumping Primer. And so that is what my base is. I have the Tower 28 concealer on as my concealer today. Then I set underneath my eyes using the Givenchy Prism Libre Powder. And today for my all over face setting powder, I went in with my Kosas Cloud Set Powder in the shade Feathery. I'm so happy to have this back in my life. It just feels so nice and lightweight on the skin. Not quite as heavy as the Fenty foundation um, powder. I did do a little bit of cream bronzer. I went in with the Char Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sun, Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer. And then over top of that, today is the first day I used the NYX Buttermelt Bronzer. I have the shade Deserve Butter, and I actually really like the way that this ended up turning out. I like 
Upon first impressions, I do really like this bronzer. I was a little bit nervous. I did actually catch some sun rays yesterday. We got a little bit of a burn and I self tanned yesterday. So I was worried because all of these have a bit of a rosy undertone that I wouldn't necessarily match like the actual like golden glow from the sun but i guess maybe it's matching the rosiness from the sunburn so off first impressions i'm really happy with this all right my blush today is the merit beauty terracotta blush as like a cream blush and then i went over top of that with the new one i got from give beauty this is in the shade stars aligned i just went in with this blush up top just this shade and nothing else and then i actually don't have a highlight on but i feel like the glow from the terracotta actually just like kind of comes through and i feel like it works so that was everything for my base and complexion. And then for my eyeshadows, I went in with my Sigma Corderosa eyeshadow palette. This is currently going in my project, No Pan Left Behind. And I only used two shades, but I used the shade Medallion right here to build out the outer crease or build up the outer crease. And then I used the shade Apricot to kind of blend that out. Then I used from the Ensley Rain Groovy Gardens eyeshadow palette. I went in with the shade Lava Lamp, which is like my least favorite of all of the multi-chrome shades, just because I don't always love a red on the eyelids, but I used that in the outer third of my lid. And then on the inner third of my lid, what did I use? Yeah, okay, I'm like, wait. Okay, I went in with the shade Midgard Gleam out of the Odin's Eye mighty monsters palette and that is what is on like the majority of my eyelid then i went in with my clarity so amazing eyeshadow palette again and for my inner corner highlight i went in with the shade don't be shellfish i feel like we're getting closer and closer to hitting a pan on that but i do really like the way that my eyes turned out and then my lips i thought was sitting out right in front of me and apparently it is not but it is the fenty beauty lip stain in the shade zesty bestie trying to use my colorful lip products in this warmer weather and then the brows is my Danessa Myricks Lightwork Volume and then my brows is my Danessa Myricks Groundworks eyeshadow palette and I have been using the elf power grip setting spray the dewy set setting spray as my setting spray so we'll see how this lasts my fragrance of the day is going to be the Armani my way fragrance I'll add just a little bit more of this and that is it we are off to go golfing wish me the best of luck Catch you tomorrow for the last day in this makeup diary. Hello, you guys. Welcome to the seventh and final day of this makeup diaries installment. It is currently Monday. I am off to work and this is my makeup for work. <laughs> I'm like, what am I trying to say? Looking in the viewfinder, I'm like, I feel like I'm looking a little muddy, but I'm also not sure. It also could just be like I have, I have a pretty good tan going on and I feel like I'm not used to like my foundation being this dark. Anyway, I feel like maybe I want to add just a little bit of a finishing powder. I'm literally just going to like swirl all three of these together. And I'm going to add just a little bit more mist. Oh, and now I see the lip gloss I was planning to wear. Anyway, okay, let's get into what is on my face. Today for primer, I went in with my Tula Filter Primer in the shade Sunrise. I really like this primer. It's also something that I'm currently trying to pan. It is perfect for, honestly, it's perfect for those days that I'm not planning to wear a foundation or maybe I'm wearing like a much lighter coverage foundation and I'm wanting my face to match my body, which usually my face does not match my body. Usually it's significantly lighter. Um, but I did go in with pretty full coverage foundation today. Regardless, this still does have a nice tack to it as well. And I enjoy it as a primer. My foundation combination today is the Clinique Even Better Serum Foundation. I have mine in the shade CN70 Vanilla, which I think even with my current tan is a little bit too deep for me. I am definitely someone who struggles to pick out a good foundation shade for me. So I ended up mixing that with my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. I feel like 
this week has been all about this being my mixer foundation and this is in the shade w2 so i mixed these two together to get my foundation combination and it's been a while since i've reached for the clinique foundation but i forget just so much i really really enjoy that foundation as well it has really great coverage to it but it is really lightweight like a serum so it's like perfect and i'm glad that i pulled it back out i did go in with my chanel Le Beige healthy glow bronzing cream um, I did end up going over this with the powder bronzer, but I'm trying to get used out of this as well. It's currently going in a project. I really enjoy this both for like a cream bronzer on days like today, where I'm also setting it with a powder bronzer. And I like this on its own when I'm doing lighter coverage, like a lighter coverage look just on its own as a cream bronzer. It is beautiful. Um, I don't think I'll be spoiling too much by showing this, but there's so much bronzer in here. It was a more expensive cream bronzer and I would really love to at bare minimum hit a pan in this this year, just so I can work on getting my money's worth out of this foundation or this um, bronzer. I did go back in with my Merit uh, Cheek Glow, Cheek Color in the shade Terracotta. I used this yesterday as well. And I believe I said this a couple times this year, but I have been so into the Merit Cream Blushes this year. They just add this really beautiful natural color with like a bit of a glow, but it's a pretty subdued color. Like it's nothing, it just like adds this sheer wash of color with a glow. And I think it's so beautiful. I really like the shade Terracotta. Um, and I've just been happy to get quite a bit of use out of my Merit blushes this year. I did set my under eyes using my Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom Cake. This is pretty standard for my under eye setting powder. And then I did go in with my Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation today. Um, we're just, we're still continuing to grow. We are still continuing to grow. This is probably a little bit heavier than I need. And honestly, I'm... I feel like maybe I should put this away for a little bit, but I do really want to finish this powder this year. And this does make for a good setting powder, especially when I am doing maybe like a lighter coverage, like tinted moisturizer. If I want just a little bit of something more, this is a great powder to set with. Nevertheless, I use this to set my face today. I went back in with my NYX Buttermelt Bronzer today. This is my second day using this. I have been a really big fan of this the first two days that I've used it. I really, really like the just finish of it. And even with an actual tan to like my skin, I like the rosiness to this shade. If I didn't say, I have the shade Deserve Butter, which is supposed to be um, late, medium, neutral. I would be really curious to see, um, like I would be potentially curious in picking up a lighter shade when... Like for the fall winter time i know it's only my second time using this but i'm really happy with this so far i did go back in with my give beauty blush duo again today this is the second time i've tried this as well and today i did a mixture of these two shades um really beautiful like just neutral pink sort of blush shade i like it i like it and i like to have a little bit of a glow so i like that there is both a matte powder as well as something that has a little bit of a glow to it and I like the way that those two mix together. My highlight today. Okay, this is where we get a little bit dicey. So I went in with my Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. And I went in with the shade Star Glow. And even like just dipping my highlighter brush in like two like really light taps. And then like really tapping off the excess. I feel like this highlight was just a little bit metallic and a little bit, a little bit more stark than I was anticipating. I did end up going back in with my blush afterwards to try and like kind of pat it out. So it wasn't so like, it was, it was looking like just a strip of highlight for a moment there. Um, and I still feel like I'm like, okay, especially up here, we're just, we're looking a little more intense than I was anticipating, especially for a Monday at work, but it is what it is. We're gonna, we're gonna roll with it. We're gonna roll with it. Um, but that was a bit much. And then you guys just saw I went in with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette to kind of use as a finishing powder. I did go in with my Makeup Revolution Sport Fix Lasting Hold Fixing Spray before doing any of my makeup today just to see if I could use this kind of like as a priming mist as well. Um, I don't necessarily know that I should have done that because I have extremely dry skin and this has, I believe, alcohol as one of the top ingredients, but we were we were changing it up today um but then i did use the elf power grip dewy setting spray kind of in the middle of my makeup application and then you guys saw i added a little bit at the end as well 
on my eyes today you guys i love the way that my eyes turned out today so i went in with my sigma corderosa eyeshadow palette again i am trying to no pan left behind this palette and i went in with first of all i took bare root on the outer like to deepen up the outer corner of my eye and then i took the shade corderosa to kind of blend that out i took veranda with the tiniest tap of hybrid to really kind of seamlessly blend out the edge and then i went in with the shade campfire on the outer third of my lid which is this really beautiful kind of satin sort of shade and then i went in with bell of the ball on the inner third of my eye or on the inner yeah the inner third of my eye i will say i do really love the shade it is a very very beautiful sparkly shade but i was feeling like i wanted just a little bit of something extra on the inner corner of my eye so i didn't so i did end up reaching into my terra moon space chemistry palette and i just went in with the absolute lightest tap of the shade moon water which added just a really beautiful sparkle to the eye um it was almost a little bit too intense and moon water is almost like a silver with a bit of a blue shift so then i went back over that with uh bell of the ball again just to kind of blend everything together and i just really 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 love the way that this eyeshadow look turned out i do love a good like mauve tone look i do always feel like i love mauves on my eyes but i've kind of leaned away from mauves for the most part the last couple of years um and if there was any question of me keeping this eyeshadow palette I definitely would not that i really thought that i was actually excited for this to roll into no pain left behind just because this is my favorite palette from sigma and especially for this time of year i love to do like a bright corally sort of look too i'm not quite yet finished with no pain left behind in this and i'm just so excited to continue to reach into this eyeshadow palette i've had so much fun the last two days reaching for it i did also go in with my soma amazing don't don't be ugh, don't be shellfish on the inner corner of my eye again i feel like we're getting closer and closer to pan on this this is quite a crumbly shade so each time i reach in with my very like pointed pencil brush i feel like i'm losing a little bit of this shadow but also the pans on this are so big like i'm not that worried that i'm like i'm not worried i'm going to use this shade up by any means and i just think it makes for such a pretty inner corner highlight and then in my waterline i used the nabla cupid's arrow pencil in the shade two on my lips i feel like my lips are looking paler than i anticipated um oh by the way my current mascara is the dior mascara i first of all my other my rare beauty mascara and my tarte mascara are currently in my car and i was too lazy to walk down and grab them today so i went in with the dior and i actually really like the way that the the dior turned out i feel like this is quite old though like it feels very dried out but i feel like it just made my eyelashes look a little bit fluffier and i actually really like it and then my lip combination today is the barbie the ColourPop barbie golden beach lip liner and then i went in with the pat mcgrath lip gloss the divine rose lip gloss in the shade lust i believe i'm actually gonna add a little bit more i was thinking it should be more like a mauvey color I feel like my lips are looking quite pale. It could be that there's a lot of foundation on my lips. I do like the Pat McGrath lip glosses. They're a little bit thicker and almost just like stickier in like that thick way, but it's not like it's not like an uncomfortable annoying sticky gloss. I would potentially consider picking up like pale fire nectar i believe is the shade that i finished up last year that was just i love like a sparkly pink gloss and i'm kind of missing that in my collection so maybe i pick up another three pack of the mini pat mcgraths if i saw like a set of them that i liked I, this is reminding me that i do really like the pat mcgrath lip gloss but i think i might bring this with me to work and try and maybe work my way through this gloss in the next couple months i feel like for quite some time i've been trying to work my way through this gloss and we just haven't got there yet but i feel like this would be an easy one to use up semi quickly like potentially before my next makeup inventory anyway that is everything on my face today for day seven in makeup diaries thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch i would love to know which look out of the seven looks was your favorite i can't exactly remember every look that i've done but i think today might be might be my favorite look i also really enjoyed yesterday's look anyway that is going to wrap it up for today's video thank you guys for all of your positive feedback on the makeup diary series i really 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 enjoyed filming this it's just kind of fun to keep 
a diary of looks that I have created um, for myself even. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch and for supporting me and my channel as you guys always do. I love you guys so much and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.